Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone. And today I wanna to take you through the value you might get out of an FPV kit. If you're just getting into flying FPV and you don't own any gear yet, I'm gonna give you some guidance on which of these is the best to buy in terms of price, getting everything you need to fly, and I think the results will surprise you, so stay tuned. So I wanna to talk today about FPV and getting started, and I wanna talk about it from a pricing perspective. So we're gonna do a comparison of ready to fly kits, meaning you get everything you need to fly, or you can buy the components that are everything you need to fly, the goggles, the remote control, the batteries, et cetera, and add up all the pricing and kind of figure out which of these is the best value in terms of the lowest cost to get into flying FPV. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna remove the DJI Avada and the DJI FPV. We'll talk about those at the end and just talk about the ones that have a Vista or an air unit in them. But basically, what you need to do to get started before you even buy your first drone is you need to get some equipment here. The first thing you need, if you are buying one of these um, from GEPRC or Rotoriot or Flywoo or um, Newbie Drones, any digital system that uses uh, the DJI Air Unit or Vista Unit, I recommend this remote. This is the DJI Remote V1. Now it is not this one here. This is the V2. This is not compatible with any of these drones over here, but this one is. So if you're wanting to get into this type of drone flying, this is what you need. This is the simplest because it's the easiest to bind with anything that has an Air Unit or a Vista Unit in it. And it's $300. So keep that in mind. First thing you need is the V1 DJI uh, transmitter. The second thing you need is either the V1 or the V2 goggles. This is compatible with every single drone I'm gonna show you today. This one is $500, and keep in mind, the prices vary for these. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them used on eBay, you can get them directly from DJI. It just kind of depends on where you buy it. But around $300 for the transmitter and around $500 for the goggles V2, and this comes with a built-in battery, and this would come with at least one battery to power it um, if you're flying. Also, for the sake of this, I'm talking about one battery with everything. And speaking of batteries, if you're going to buy either a 4S or a 6S battery, um, the price is gonna vary from about 25 to 50 bucks. So 35 bucks is our baseline cost for a battery. And then don't forget, you need to actually buy a battery charger. I have a recommended one that both Chris and I use all the time. It's a dual charger, so you can charge two batteries at once. It's about 80 bucks. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link below. And that is definitely another cost you have to factor in is that 80 bucks for your battery charger. And understand too that powering and discharging um, LiPos for these is a little more complex than it is for the DJI drones. So keep in mind, 35 bucks per battery and 80 bucks for the charger. That is a dual charger. You can get a cheaper charger, but I wouldn't recommend it. So to compare apples to apples, let's budget $500 for a good action camera. Now that could be an older GoPro, like a Hero 7 or a Hero 8 or a Hero 9. It could be the newest GoPro. It could be a DJI Action 1 or an Action 2. I like the Action 2 a lot because of its small form factor. There's all kinds of different uh, cameras you can get and mount on these. And with that $500 budget for the action camera, that adds up to $1,415 that you've got to spend before you buy your first drone. So keep that in mind if you're gonna get into FPV. Now, once you've bought those things and a few more batteries, but again, we're just using one battery as our example, you're set. You can pretty much buy a whole bunch of different drones from a whole bunch of different manufacturers and have a lot of fun with them. But let's now start with the actual drones themselves. Now I have three from GEPRC, like I said, and one from Rotoriot. The GEPRC starting drone that I always like to recommend is the Rocket. It's a little ducted quad, it's a 4S quad, it uses an XT30 connector with uh, fairly small batteries, and you can get it with an air unit or a Vista unit. The only difference really is that the um, air unit's a little heavier, so your flight time's a little less, but you can record locally. The Vista unit's a little lighter, you can fly a little longer, and you're not gonna be able to record locally, but you can record in the goggles. So the Rocket Lite runs $350 approximately on GEPRC's website, and the Rocket Plus runs $380 on GEPRC's website. And again, I can't say enough good things about how these are small, light, they can be flown indoors, you can fly them at a small park, you can fly them in your backyard, you can fly them in a lot of places, they're very safe, unintimidating, unassuming, 
and super fun to fly. So either the Rocket Plus or the Rocket Lite at 350 and 380, depending on which one you get. And so keep in mind that if you do end up buying, let's say the Rocket Lite at 350 and you add that $1,415 to it, you're at about $1,700, maybe $1,800 uh, total for your entire kit, including your goggles, remote, batteries, charger, and action camera. So up next is the Cinelog 35, which I have right here. This is what they call a Cinewoop drone, which means that it's designed for taking cinematic, cool looking drone shots, and it's designed to be flown near people carefully. It's got these guards that protect it from bumping into things inside. When I did my uh, art gallery fly through, I used this guy and it was great. Um, it's really a versatile little quad. It does take a 6S. You can also get a 4S version of this, and it does have a Vista unit in it. So it's not gonna give you onboard recording, but it's designed to mount a action camera on top here, and it will carry a full-size GoPro or uh, DJI action. So this one goes for somewhere between $450 and $480, depending on what FPV camera you choose up front. Remember, there's the FPV camera itself that transmits to the goggles, and then there's the action camera that's stabilized and captures the good looking footage. You can capture video off of this through the goggles or if you have an air unit in there, but it's not gonna be as good as a stabilized footage that you get from a GoPro or a DJI action. So again, at 450, if you got this with the cheapest um, FPV camera, that's 450 plus 1,415, all in, one battery, and everything you need to get flying with this FPV and an action camera on it. Now the last uh, GEP RC I have here is the Mark V. This is a really, really awesome, beautiful, fun to fly drone. It comes ready to fly. It's got lots of little extras. I've done a review of it. If you wanna check that out, I do highly recommend it. This one ranges in price from $490 to $550, depending on if you get the 4S version or the 6S version, and also depending on if you get an air unit or a Vista unit, because you can order either in here. Again, really great uh, freestyle quad, easy to fix, easy to replace the props. The props are cheap, the batteries are not too bad. I like this guy a lot. GFRC did a great job with it. Check out my review. And then the last drone I wanna talk about is the Rotor Riot solderless build. I believe this is the Vanny version. Um, I built this myself from a kit that they sent me, made a few mistakes along the way, but learned a lot about putting a drone together. And this is solderless, so you don't actually have to solder anything, which is really nice because it makes it easier to repair as well as to build in the first place. Now, I don't know if Rotor Riot is still selling that kit because when I looked on their website, I only saw a pre-built version of this where they build it for you, tune it for you, which is great if, you know, it's how these come. This is the only one I built myself. It is $600 already pre-built. So that's quite a bit of money for just the drone. If you add that to the 1415, we're talking about $2,015 if you buy this pre-built. You might still be able to get the kit by itself and be able to build it yourself, which I highly encourage you to do, but maybe not right out of the gate. Start with something else, simpler, and then you can get the kit and build this or buy a pre-built one from Rotoriot because they're really great quads. Okay, so finally, now that we've talked about all the pre-built or build-it-yourself FPV quads you can get that work with the DJI digital FPV system, we're gonna actually talk about the DJI FPV drone and the Avada, which is the ones that are just turnkey from DJI. You get everything you need to fly uh, with these two, and we're gonna talk about them now. This is the original DJI FPV. It is a great beginner drone in that it has GPS built in, and you can fly it in normal mode, just like you would a Mavic. So if you're used to flying a Mavic and wanna get used to flying with the goggles, this is a pretty good option. My only hesitation about this is it's big, it's heavy, it doesn't have any prop guards, and it's really, you need a lot of space to fly this thing. You need it to be somewhere with lots of open area because it can get a bit out of control, especially in manual mode. This right here actually ends up being the best deal out of all these drones, money-wise, and the reason is this with the uh, remote two that works with this, you can't use the original remote one with this. These two are not compatible. So if you wanna fly this, you get this with it, as well as the goggles V2, you get one battery, one battery for the goggles, $9.99 on DJI's website. So a thousand bucks gets you a full kit with a couple of spare props and everything ready to go, super easy, out of the box. It is the least expensive way to get into flying FPV is this guy right here with this remote 
and this drone, one battery, and the Goggles V2. Which brings us to the DJI Avada. This is an amazing little quad. It's got ducted props. You can fly it in smaller spaces. It's designed to get amazing footage without an action camera, right with the built-in camera here. It takes uh, stabilized, really, really vivid, beautiful footage right off the drone. However, it does not come with this remote control. It comes with this motion controller initially. I recommend getting the kit with the V2 goggles because it's a little bit less expensive and the V2 goggles are compatible with this guy as well as all the others. The goggles two, which are the new ones that just came out that are also compatible with this, may be backwards compatible with these others at some point, but currently is not. So if you get it with the goggles V2, not the goggles two, but the goggles V2, this uh, will work with this as well as others. That's the way to go. However, if you buy this, it does not come with this remote control. You have to buy this remote control separately or already own it. So the price breakdown on the Avada is $1,168 for one battery, the motion controller, and the V2 goggles. And so if you go with that, and one battery for these, of course, if you go with that, you're gonna have enough to fly using this, but you're probably gonna to wanna to buy this remote control eventually, which is another $200, which brings it up to $1,368. Plus, just keep in mind that spare batteries for the Avada are $130, and spare batteries for the DJI FPV are $160 versus 35-ish for a 4S or a 6S battery. Why are these batteries so much more expensive, you might ask? They're smart batteries and they don't require you to put them at storage voltage in order to store them. They do that themselves. So they're kind of just set it and forget it, charge it and leave it, uh, charge it, use it. Um, you know, you kind of can't overdrain these like you can the batteries for those. There's just a lot less maintenance with these DJI batteries, but they are expensive. Again, 130 for this and 160 for that. So where did we land with all this? Well, first of all, this is your best value at 999 with one battery, V2 goggles, and the remote control if you wanted to get into flying FPV. I'm not saying it's the best one, I'm just saying it's the best value. Up next actually is the Avada with the V2 goggles at $1,168 and with this, but if you add the remote control to it, it's $1,300, but that is still cheaper than any of these over here with all the things you need to fly with those. Remember, it's $1,415 for the equipment you need to fly with these, and then these range from $300 to $600 each. So you're talking about two grand or so to get into flying with these type of drones. But then at that point, batteries are cheaper because they're $35 each versus 100 plus for these two. And you can also fly with so many more of these drones using the original uh, V1 remote and the V2 goggles. Confused? Sorry. <laughs> it's, it is very confusing. I guess if I'm gonna break it down into a very simple summary, if you're looking for an FPV experience at the lowest cost, I would recommend the DJI FPV at $999. It's a great deal to get into flying FPV and it's super simple. The next is gonna be the Avada at $1168 with the motion controller only or $1368 uh, with this remote control if you can get a hold of one. Again, keeping in mind that if you add a couple of extra batteries to these two, that price is gonna go up. And then the next highest cost is going to be any of these here, probably starting with the GFRC Rocket at about $1,700 all in, including the drone. And then, you know, if you're talking about one of these guys here, you're probably getting close to $2,000. That was a lot of talking. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your comments below about the entire uh, digital FPV ecosystem that I have sitting in front of me. Um, of course, there's other digital FPV out there. I'm not saying DJI makes the only one. That's just what I'm familiar with and what I'm talking about today. Leave your comments below. Please like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you. And be safe out there. Don't fly alone. Take care. We'll see you next time.